today we will be talking about giant hogweed and how it spreads. The giant hogweed came from Central Asia. From the Caucasus Mountains. The Victorians brought it over here in the 18th centuries. The Victorians brought it over as an ornamental plant because it looked pretty. Problem in the 1970s because it gave people burns when they touched it. Giant hogweed is spread to Canada, US, UK and Australia. Giant hogweed is normally found next to rivers. They mostly grow there because it's moist and warm. This, this is, is giant, giant hogweed and it can grow up to 5 metres tall. So in one year, hogweed can grow between 3.5 and 4.5 and and metres. When this isn't poisoned, it's normally white and bushy. If they know hogweed and they're ever done, what are you going to do? Don't touch it! Do the bees make the giant hogweed more dangerous if they take the pollen from it? I don't think they make it more dangerous, but what they would do is, because of the pollination, the cross-pollination, they'd probably make more giant hogweed grow in the area. Hogweed is fertilised by um, flying insects normally. It has a big flower head and those insects land on top of the flower head. They fertilise the seeds and then those seeds are blown away by the wind. Uh, they can be blown away just to so that they land on the floor near the parent plant or they can end up in a dog's fur and get transported that way or they can end up in the soles of somebody's shoes and get transported that way or end up in the river and float down for miles and miles. Stop! You have to check your dog's fur for any seeds from invasive species including hogweed. Please. Stop! You have to check your boots for any hogweed seeds. Stop! Did you know that you have to check your bike tyres for any seeds from invasive species? Hey, stop! You need to check your tyres! Okay. This is giant hogweed. If you touch it, it will hurt. Even though it looks dead, it can still burn you and be dangerous. I think it's just as dangerous because it's the sap in the giant hogweed that gives the irritation on your skin if you touch it. Hogweed is a health risk to humans and you might be breaking the law by not controlling it. This burns will make the affected area extremely painful with blistering occurring 24 to 48 hours after exposure will probably end up in purple scars. Do not touch giant hogweed. If you do, do touch it. Keep the blister out of the sunlight. If you pop the bl blister, that is not good. good. Here is a little model of giant hog weed, weed that we made. This is what happens when you touch giant hogweed. It is really big and it burns a lot. So what happens with hogweed and the reason it's so dangerous to humans and the reason why when humans are dealing with it, they have to be dressed like the lovely summer here um, is because um, the sap of the hogweed um, contains a chemical that makes the skin photosensitive. Photosensitive just means that it's extra sensitive to light. It removes the skin's ability to protect itself from the sun and that's why you end up with burns and blisters from the sun. This giant hogweed in the wild is next to a river which leads to a huge city. Look, here comes someone now. <laughs> That's wild hoggy that gives you blisters. Why didn't you tell me? Well, you never asked. Yeah. Oh, look, here comes a cute little fluffy sheep. It's eating the hogweed. The sap of the giant hogweed only burns skin when it's exposed to direct sunlight. So the sheep are actually already pretty well protected with their fur and their thick wool. Um, and once they're chewing it inside their mouth, then there's not much chance of sunlight reacting with the sap. All in all, they actually do just a really good job helping us tackle this invasive non-native plant uh, and come really come to no harm doing it. If you see a giant hogweed, you need to call a professional to come and spray and kill it. 
Well, if you find giant pugweed, first of all, well done, because you've identified it correctly. The next thing you need to do is report the sighting to the Scottish Invasive Species Initiative. You can do that really simply on their website. The most important thing to do is to not touch it. So stay well away from it if you do find it and report it to the Scottish Invasive Species Initiative. This is giant hogweed. Here's what you need to do if you saw it.